the first thing which uh, most content creators have to face is creating strong headlines your headline should have numbers you know and it helps to have odd numbers if your article has steps you know it should not be more than nine so why i say that is uh, because hey guys hello and welcome to another episode of the free spoken podcast main hu aapka host sanad और आज हमारे साथ हैं कंटेंट मार्केटिंग के इंडस्ट्री के एक काफ़ी नॉलेजेबल पर्सन दिस पर्सन बिलीव्स कि कंटेंट इज़ द किंग प्रेजेंटेशन इज़ द क्वीन एंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द कंटेंट इज़ द क्राउन प्रिंस सो लेट्स वेलकम मिस्टर परीक्षित भारद्वाज ही इज़ द हेड ऑफ कंटेंट फॉर जागरण जोश डॉट कॉम हेलो सर हाउ आर यू डूइंग इंसाना भाई आई एम ग्रेट हाउ यू वेरी वेल सर वेरी वेल थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी ऑन योर शो इट इज़ माई प्लेजर सर कम्प्लीटली so i just want to get to the point here that what exactly is your philosophy when you say content is the king presentation is the queen and distribution is the crown prince and again why exactly is content the king great it's a great question uh, i'll be happy to answer this content is king is not a new philosophy but it came into into the limelight uh, in the year 1996 when bill gates wrote an essay and he used the phrase content is king and uh, he wrote it because he could see that uh, the future of the internet is going to be a marketplace for the content and he could see that uh, the success of a website is going to depend on quality content and um, it's also true because if you have everything else going for your website but you don't have good good content it will not fly which is why it is said that content is king and uh, talking about my philosophy so um, the way i see it is i take it further i think content is king presentation is queen and distribution is the crown prince so why i say that is uh, because uh, it's great to have good content um, it is it is key of course but only having good content is not sufficient you also need to present it well because great content not presented well will not get you the desired results and once you are able able to present that you need to ensure that it reaches the right audiences for which you have to enter into the right kind of alliances you have to enter into the right kind of collaborations to ensure that your content is seen by the maximum number of people so this is the entire cycle of content in which uh, it is first created and then you need to present it well and then ensure that it goes to the intended audience that's that's a really insightful thing sir because i believe content is the king is something we have been hearing throughout but going beyond that and talking about other factors that actually make it the king is very important here so we move on to something that is very important in today's time that what are some you know pro tips from your end to create some really good content right so it's important as you said it's the first stage in which you are creating the content so if your foundation is not strong uh, you will not be able to succeed so um, I, we have a couple of things here i'll just give you some tips on these the first thing which uh, most content creators have to face is creating strong headlines it is important to have a strong headlines it is your first touch point with the audience so you should have a strong headline and uh, you have you have a lot of the factors there which you, which you need to keep in mind so i'll give some examples like your headline should have numbers you know and it helps to have odd numbers for some reason our mind is able to catch odd numbers better than the even numbers so uh, you could have a headline like top 9 reasons why you should buy something 
So this is an example. Then if you are using steps, if your article has steps, you know, it should not be more than nine. This is also a, also a reason which, uh, which can affect how your content is seen. And um, at the same time, you should be using rationales in your headlines. Like it should have the reasons why a person should be doing something. So it should have tips, it should have reasons, it should have secrets. So if you have a headline which has all these things, it's more likely to invite the readers. So having a strong headline, I think is the most important aspect. Then coming to the next factor, you should keep the most important information in your article first. If you have your video or your article, uh, it should have the conclusion first. It is the other way around in print, but in online content, it is called the inverted pyramid. So you start with why, what is your conclusion? and then you give the outline and then you give the details if you see any if you see in the papers this is how you have information given so even if you see the first paragraph or the first few minutes of your video a person should be able to understand what your content is all about then you have another important thing keep it engaging it's quite simplistic but yes it is important your content it should not be it should not be uh, it should not have only facts you know just if it has only facts it can only be a collection of facts but people are fond of tales you know tell a story if you're able to tell a story people are going to be interested so try to keep it conversational and engaging then i think the last uh, important tip i'd like to share here is that you should keep it short and to the point people are not interested in a lot of details particularly if you are talking about the online audience they have short attention spans so you should not be giving a lot of details it should not go beyond the expected limit and you should be following the kiss principle it means keep it simple and short so you, you should not be trying to use intelligent words, intelligent sounding words, keep them simple and you would be able to create a good piece of content. If you take the example of Chetan Bhagat, he is popular among the masses. Everybody likes to read Chetan Bhagat. You also have criticism against him, but uh, he has mass appeal. And it is because he is able to use, he is able to convey his point in simple words these are my four tips to keep in mind as you start to create your content i see so these four tips is where you can actually start creating good content so guys let me list them down for you again so the first tip here was that have really good headlines second tip here was to have that inverted pyramid structure wherein you don't wait for the end of the body or the conclusion to give the best points just give them right away throw it at the audience so that they find your content engaging and that is where it comes down to the third one that your content should be engaging you right should, sir you should be telling stories i feel it should not be only right. facts it should of course have facts but then it should be in your own words it should be your story right so the third thing is that do tell a story do have facts do have you know credible facts and validate your content right but then also do not just keep the facts tell the story as well and lastly keep it short and simple guys now you have created the content but what about the next thing when it comes to some you know strategies to practically make that content a rock star content i have created a good content no doubts but now i want to make it a rock star content so do tell some strategies beyond the creation of making it much better than what we have. If you want to create content uh, which sells, uh, then you need to adopt some content marketing strategies. Now they will help you create content which can be called rockstar. So um, I think first is you should not have dearth of content. You should have content which you are able to publish periodically if you want to keep your, keep your audience's engagement. So uh, now if you want to publish content every week or every, every day, you will need to have a constant supply of titles and topics. An easy way to do that is that if you are in some industry, you should try to understand what are the key pain points of your customers. And everybody knows about, you know, what are the key pain points? What are your audience's questions? 
So all the questions which you have been asked, keep a list that will give you all your titles. So if you have been asked 20 questions by your audiences about your product or their problem, you have 20 titles of your content piece. So if you are an organization of 10 people and all of you would have been asked questions, you have 100 ideas. So this is an easy way to come up with your content titles. Now, once you have done this, um, you might also want to see what are the areas in which you can, you can create high search content. If you see in any industry, people are keen to understand some key points. They are concerned about their problems. They will be keen to understand what is the price of that product. And you will see that uh, most companies are not too upfront about telling the price of their products and thinking it will scare the people away. But, but it's not true. It will eventually have to be told you should be telling them what your product is worth. And this is an area where you can create content. You could have articles which talk about the top products in a certain price range. If you have if you have content in these in this area, it's going to be searched actively. And similarly, you can write content in which you are comparing products or ideas. You know, you can choose areas in which you can compare two two products. If a person is going to buy a car, he will want to have an understanding of how that how a certain car compares to another brand in terms of its features. If you have a piece of content on that, that's an area in which you'll have access active search. Similarly, people are keen to understand the problems associated with each product. If you have a piece of content on that, that is going to be searched. Similarly, people are keen to have honest reviews. So if you are an expert in, in some area, you should be doing an honest review article or a video or, or a podcast that will help you. Your audience will be keen to understand um, and see see your opinion and if you are seen as an expert in that field that can be a that can be a great area in which to create content in this category there is last piece of content i'd like to talk about is where you can talk about the top or the best in a certain category so you can have an article on the best bluetooth brands in the market any right. any you, you you can choose a topic so uh, and I believe you can combine that as well with the title thing you earlier told that like top three uh, so and so commodities. Absolutely. So we have that number as well. Absolutely. And that is impacting our audience more. Absolutely. Right? So if you have you have a number, and uh, you choose your area in which you want to want to create the content that should work. You should be reading a book called They Ask You Answer. It's a Bible on content marketing. So that's an important tip too. And and last, I think you can go and check out a site called HubSpot. It's an SEO company. They have a lot of free content there. They have free certification courses there. And you can understand a lot about content if you are able to go through their courses. They have a lot of free courses and they're quite helpful. I see. So we should actually make use of these resources that you have just said. So guys, I did, uh, I have just ordered that book. It is with me. It's a book that actually tells you the real basics and just exactly how Parishit sir has said. If we sum these strategies that you have come up with, the first one would be to not have, you know, scarcity of content. Don't uh, start uploading every day until you have a content for every day if you feel that you are good uh, you know with a week keep it like that so that at least you never face that scarcity and because i believe once you break that flow it goes away from you it goes away from your audience as well and then answer the questions even as the book states you should actually answer the questions of your audience you have told us i believe four parameters there as well so talk about the pricing of certain things talk about the reviews give honest reviews Talk about the top things and talk about comparisons. Right. And also the areas in which uh, people have problems. If you have a product, you should be able to tell about what are the key problems in that area. Right. So practically you should. And that is, I believe, something that anybody and everybody can do. Sir. Because if you just go out and if you ask 10 of the people, you know, five of your family members, five of your nearest and dearest friends, and you just ask them that, you know, what have you been purchasing lately? or uh, what thing has been troubling you lately what, what what comparisons haven't you been to make i believe that makes a good piece of content because these people are the general public these are the people who watch videos looking for these answers so 
So if we even take our own friends and everybody, we'll have ten pieces of content right away sitting at our desk. I think HubSpot is a very good place for having those certifications done. So if people you are starting out, then that's a very good place to be at, where you can get these certifications, understand the content marketing world as well. Now, sir, we have talked about the creation. We have talked about the marketing. Please advise future content creators on what they should do and what all they have in the future for them. I think if you have the correct uh, guidance in the beginning, it helps you and it makes it makes your journey easier. So um, I'll share what I uh, what what this I had learned, and my advice would be that if you are creating a piece of content, ask ask yourself: Is it answering a question of your audience? And second thing is: Is it solving a problem? Because right. people come online only for these two reasons. They of course come for come for entertainment, but they will come to you if they have a problem. They would be looking for a solution. and if they have a question and they want answers if you are able to give them that you will be able able to build trust with them if you have your audience's trust it's always easy to sell whatever is your product so always ask yourself is your is your piece of content answering something or is it solving something it will always help you create good content i see so i believe that's a one stop tip here that either your content should answer a question or it should solve a problem because i believe there are these uh, you know entertainment videos we have movie trailers we have uh, you know comedy videos that is something that is completely apart because that is simply entertainment and uh, as far as i believe you do not stick to one content provider when it comes to uh, comedy or entertainment industry if you might be watching bhuvan bam you also want to watch you know other content makers or stand up comedians you don't have preferences as such but yeah when you're looking for solutions you simply go and write on youtube or write on google how to how to do anything you know how to start cooking how to start making masks the trending thing today is how to start making masks so people who utilize that currently they have i believe lakhs and lakhs of views on their videos or on their blogs because they are solving a problem here for people and eventually sir i believe that when you start entering this and you start looking at the analytics and all you can find your own formulas as well for the success of your particular product or uh, you know content is right, it sir and also another thing i'd like to say as you are starting you should be keeping in mind that you should create content for your audience it, sh- it should not be for yourself if you write for yourself you may like it but your audience may not so always have your audience in your mind if you if you are able to do that you will be able to create good content because people see the world in terms of their problems they don't see the world in terms of your products or what you are trying to say if you are able to solve their problem they are going to they are going to listen to you right so if you solve a problem your product is selling if you are selling your product maybe it won't so that's how we can put it simply and that's good for not only content creators i believe for business people as well and there is a lot of uh, you know startup era going on right now in india as well So for all these startups guys if you're solving a problem if you're answering a question even while advertising or creating your uh, whatever commodity you want to sell that's the basics you do it you won't really have to sell it it will sell by itself just because it's solving a problem thank you so much for that insight that you have brought to this channel i really really hope that we are able to guide the people who are you know currently just looking for some answers again on the internet on how to start their journey over internet or in the offline world as well whether be it advertising or selling a commodity so guys if you like the video do share it and do subscribe to our channel i really hope that you have some dreams of coming online or even offline if you want to do something even if you are working professional and just want to increase your sales or increase your knowledge do focus on these things answer the questions solve the problems thanks a lot guys see you next time bye bye